The general documentation of this world and the people in it has improved vastly over recent years. Now, we document almost everything with pictures, videos, and the internet. And this has been the case for quite a few years. In general, we have a pretty good idea of what's going on. So, when a person or a group of people mysteriously vanish without a trace and is never found, it really defies the logic we stand by and becomes nothing short of a conundrum. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So here are the 10 most mysterious, unexplained disappearances. Number 10 is Benjamin Bathurst. Benjamin Bathurst was the third son of Henry Bathurst, who was the Bishop of Norwich. This meant that his location was usually pretty well known, and because of this, it came as quite a shock when he mysteriously disappeared on the 25th of November 1809 when he was staying in a town west of Berlin. Now, the initial disappearance wasn't where the shock came from, as the area around him was riddled with bandits who would often kidnap people of note in order to collect the reward. However, when Benjamin Bathurst's wife put up a significant reward for any information or evidence about her husband's whereabouts, not one person came forth with any concrete evidence. She then set up an extremely expensive search party and even had a visitation with Napoleon himself, who offered his assistance. And yet, none of this came to any avail. It's been over 200 years, and barely any evidence of Benjamin's body or belongings have been found, and we still have no idea what the motive was from the person responsible. The most likely answer here is that Benjamin was murdered, but we still don't know why, and based on the overwhelming amount of unsuccessful attempts to find answers, we may never know. Number 9 is Solomon Northup. Solomon Northup had an array of titles in the 1800s, such as a farmer, a violinist, and he was involved in a movement to end slavery. His biggest accomplishment, however, comes from a memoir he wrote called 12 Years a Slave, which documented the brutal time he endured after he was tricked and sold into slavery. This of course was adapted into a movie and went on to win multiple Oscars. He was eventually freed, and after this, his timeline becomes blurry. He rejoined his family, but after that, no one was really sure what happened to Solomon. Which is strange because of how well known his story was. In fact, he had done lectures, book tours, and had been heavily involved with the movement to end slavery, and yet, after 1857, Solomon was never seen by any of his relatives again. Certain newspapers reported that Solomon had been sold back into slavery. Others reported that he had been killed, but the details are too blurry for us to be able to put any definitive answers on it. And while Solomon's life story is an incredibly well-known one, his fate is completely the opposite. Number 8 is the MV Joyita. In October of 1955, a vessel known as the MV Joyita set sail on what was supposed to be a simple enough two-day journey from Samoa to Tokelau Islands. However, they never arrived. This was strange, because they never sent out any distress signals and the vessel was perfectly capable of making the journey. Well, a search party was sent out, and there were no results for an entire month until they eventually found the vessel. Except, there wasn't a single crew member on board. There were a few problems with the ship, but it was still fine to travel with, especially with the reasonably short journey they were making. As well as this, all of the windows had been smashed, everything valuable had been taken, and bloody rags were found at the scene, which hinted towards the ship being attacked and raided by pirates. This would make sense, except it's been over 50 years and not one sign of the 25 people who went missing has popped up. Usually, when such a large amount of people are kidnapped in these conditions, they are put up for ransom, forced to work, or used as hostages, but even though there was an extensive search for any sign of this happening, they never found anything. In conclusion, 25 people seemingly vanished into thin air, leaving nothing but an empty and damaged boat behind. Number 7 is Louis Le Prince. Considered to be the father of cinematography, Louis Le Prince created the world's oldest surviving film, a two-second short created in 1888 known as the Round Hay Garden Scene. Despite this, his name is rarely mentioned in the history books. This may be because two years after he created his most famous piece of work, Louis Le Prince vanished under extremely mysterious circumstances. 
In September of 1890, he said goodbye to his brother and boarded a train in France that would go from Dijon to Paris. However, when the train arrived, Louis Le Prince was nowhere to be found. They initially checked the train and all along the railway. After this, they conducted an extensive search in an attempt to find him. This included speaking to the passengers on board, who said there was no suspicious activity. With all of this, you would expect Louis to have been found reasonably quickly, and for there to be a reasonably simple answer as to how this happened. And yet, over a hundred years later, we still have no idea what happened. A number of theories have popped up, such as a carefully planned suicide, and a theory that Louis was planning to vanish in order to escape some of his financial burdens. While all of these theories and ideas have small things backing them up, they could easily be all wrong, and it seems as if we'll never truly know what happened to the man who essentially created film. Number 6 is Maura Murray. Maura Murray was a 21-year-old nursing student from America who went missing after crashing her car in New Hampshire on the 9th of February 2004. Her case was an incredibly strange one, starting off with the reason she made the trip to New Hampshire in the first place. She left college and told her professors that she'd have to leave for a week in order to deal with a family emergency. Her family later confirmed that there was no emergency to deal with. There were a number of strange occurrences before the event in question. Around a year prior to this, she had been arrested for using a stolen credit card, but this didn't seem to have any connections to her disappearance. She also broke down into tears while she was working, but didn't tell anybody the reason why. However, the strangest event occurred after she had crashed her car, when a bus driver found her and said that he would phone for help. However, she pleaded for him not to, and said that she already called AAA. This call never happened, leading to the assumption that Mora did not want to be helped. We haven't been given any definitive answers, but something very interesting happened when a video was uploaded right here on YouTube called Happy Anniversary which was uploaded exactly eight years after Mora's disappearance and features a seemingly insane man laughing. YouTuber Scare Theater made a video analyzing this clip and the man's channel in general and found out that there were quite a few links to him and Mora's disappearance. The main link being that his username was 112 Dirtbag and Mora crashed her car on Route 112 and her father described whoever was responsible for her disappearance as dirtbags. While this is eerie and disturbing, it doesn't necessarily mean he had anything to do with this event, but other than this, we don't really have any answers at all. Number 5 is the Roanoke Colony. We've already had a look at plenty of individuals who went missing, but this event is easily one of the most bizarre on the entire list. The Roanoke Colony was established in the 16th century by Sir Walter Raleigh in Roanoke Island. In 1587, it had a small population of 116 people. It was looked after by an artist known as John White, who occasionally checked on them to see how they were doing. Well, it probably came as a bit of a shock to John when he returned to Roanoke Island to find out that the entirety of the colony were gone. All that was left was the carving of the word Croatoan, which more than likely meant they moved to Croatoan Island, but later searches revealed that that may have not been the case. Granted, these searches didn't happen straight away and took quite a while to conduct. Regardless, while there may be theories backed up by small fragments of evidence to suggest where they went, we can't be too sure. Meaning 116 people essentially upped and vanished without a trace. Because of this, they became known as the Lost Colony, and this incident kind of became a historical phenomenon. Number 4 is Frederick Valentich. Frederick Valentich was a 20-year-old trainee pilot who was flying over Australia on the 21st of October 1978 when himself and his plane completely disappeared. What makes this event even weirder is what happened right before he vanished. He began to report that some kind of an object was following him around while he was in the air. Traffic control responded by stating that they could not detect an aircraft in the vicinity. He stated that the flying object around him was illuminated by four bright landing lights and was orbiting around him at high speeds. He was then asked to describe the aircraft, and the last thing he said before completely vanishing was, it isn't an aircraft. The last thing traffic control heard before the transmission completely cut off was metallic scraping sounds. A huge search commenced soon after this, but neither Frederick or his plane were ever seen again. Now this is all very bizarre, and because of that, 
This entry is actually one of the hardest to explain. The theories that attempt to explain this event are filled with holes. One theory suggests that Valentech staged his own disappearance. He was described as a flying saucer enthusiast, so people believed he may have orchestrated this. However, this would have been very difficult to do, especially for a trainee pilot, and the fact that he announced he was in trouble would add even more difficulty. Another theory suggested that he became disoriented and began flying upside down. However, that would have made it very difficult for him to describe his sightings to traffic control, and also it doesn't tell us how his plane was never found, nor does it explain the scraping sounds that were heard while he was that high up in the air. Of course, with the nature of this event, one of the most popular theories was a UFO attack or abduction. Again, this is improbable, but there were actually quite a few UFO sightings in Australia on the night of this event. So while it seems ridiculous, it's also the only theory that has any half-decent evidence behind it. Overall, nobody has really provided any concrete explanation as to how this happened, and the theories that we do have have been riddled with contradictions and improbabilities. So much so that this event is one we just may never have answers to. Number 3 is Ray Grecar. Ray Grecar was a well-known district attorney who mysteriously vanished on the 15th of April 2005 while he was driving through an area of Pennsylvania. His wife reported him missing when he failed to return home, and the following day, police found his vehicle in a car park, but Greeker was nowhere to be seen. What makes this more interesting was the mysterious circumstances revolving around this disappearance. Ray Greeker was actually involved in one of the biggest child sex abuse cases in American history, this being the case of Jerry Sandusky, who was eventually sentenced to 45 counts of abuse towards children. Well, in 1998, Ray Grecar actually refused to press charges against Sandusky. Now, his involvement in the case may not have been linked to his disappearance, but something suspicious was still going on. A few months after he vanished, authorities found a hard drive in a river that belonged to Grecar. However, they could not access the data from it. But it is relatively clear that Grecar did not want anyone to know what was on it as his home computer's history had searches like how to wreck a hard drive. This confirmed that there was more than meets the eye with this case, and that hard drive that Greeker didn't want us to see might have been able to provide us some answers, but unfortunately we never got any. He was legally declared dead in 2011, but a few people believe he may have staged his disappearance to get out of legal or financial trouble, but again, it's all hearsay. Number 2 is D.B. Cooper. Dan Cooper, known as D.B. Cooper by popular media, was an alias used by the man who committed the only unsolved aircraft hijacking in American history. On the 24th of November 1971, he boarded a plane going from Oregon to Washington. He had thoroughly planned out everything to an extreme extent. He knew in great detail the area they were flying over and exactly what was needed to escape successfully. He informed an air hostess through a note that he had a bomb and would require two parachutes and $200,000 in cash. After receiving this, he parachuted off the plane mid-flight, and while the FBI said that he more than likely did not survive, D.B. Cooper has never been found. An incredibly thorough investigation took place and a small amount of the money Cooper stole was uncovered, but that was it. No other conclusive evidence was found, and this year, in July, the FBI stated that the active investigation involving D.B. Cooper's crime was suspended, meaning if Cooper survived the jump and vanished, he may have pulled off a crime that was previously considered to be impossible. Number 1 is the Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. In what may be the most noteworthy and researched disappearance in the 21st century, the Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 was a flight from Malaysia to China that completely disappeared with 239 people on board. Many countries began to help in order to find the plane in what is now the largest and most expensive search in aviation history. Small pieces of debris have been found as well as one flapper on, but other than that, this search has come up with very few results. This mystery essentially baffled the entire world, due to advancements in aviation, the size of the plane and the amount of passengers on it. The fact that nothing too substantial has been recovered means that this disappearance may very well be the most difficult one to explain in history. 
Countless theories have been put forth, but none of them are confirmed. The search is still ongoing and the event in question is quite recent, so we may get some kind of an answer soon, but for now, the disappearance of this plane and the reasons behind it remain to be incredibly mysterious. And that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll leave a link down below to a similar top 10, and if you want, you can subscribe for content like this in the future. But like I said, that's all for now. As always, until next time.